it's Lana welcome to my channel today I'm about to do a really easy beginner friendly box spray tutorial um I think I'm about to do some small medium medium ones I've done big ones before but I'm doing small ones today um make sure you like subscribe and comment under the video thanks for watching okay so let's get into what I'm using I'm using these um 500 rubber bands I don't think it's 500 in here anymore but I got it from the dollar store and because I'm using the rubber band method and then a rat tail cone I'll trade, you know jumbo braid in the color six and patience because you need a little bit of patience it doesn't always work out right away and then a good show or some good music because it takes a second I'm gonna start off by parting my whole head which is the hardest part but I'm gonna start in the back well First, I'm gonna kind of like break off an area with my hands. And my hair is blow dried, detangled like seven times, and uh, deep conditioned, shampooed, all that. Definitely my least favorite part, but. When I part the back of my hair, I use the comb and I kind of just try and go as straight as possible, then I clean it up with a mirror afterwards. I'm really out here struggling. Like it's, it's easy, but just takes me some time. For the parts for each individual braid, I just take the end of the comb, find where it is, go straight down. Take the piece, get a band, and just gonna take the band, make sure there's no hair around it so that it stays crisp, and then wrap it as if you would a normal. Okay, so, one cup of coffee and two hours later i'm finished parting my hair um i'm not gonna lie to you it takes a minute but it's worth it it makes the actual braiding go away and i separate all the hair from the braiding package before i start braiding in my hair at least one pack at a time but one advantage to parting your hair before you start braiding it is you can count exactly how many braids they're about to be so you can separate the hair accordingly so that you don't run out. So after counting mine, I have about 60 braids. So I'm gonna have to get 10 braids out of each pack. No, quick mats. <laughs> I personally separate it. I, I just take it and spread it out a whole bunch. Like a whole lot of lot of lot. And then I just start breaking the pieces off and holding it real tight at the top to try and lose as little hair as possible. Then I just lay it out now for the main event, which you're all here for. But we all want to see what we all need to know how to braid. So, and don't mind the split halves. So, I have my handy dandy piece of hair that I've separated from the rest. It's about the same size as this piece of hair. Like the two sides are the same size as the middle piece of hair. I'm gonna take the two, wrap it over the piece of hair I have in the middle. Pull it tight down. So I'm gonna pull this piece up, pull these two back, and then braid it like I'm normally braiding, but really make sure I keep an even pressure as I go. Then when I get to like here, I start to mix the braiding hair in with my hair. So I take a little bit from this one, start braiding with it. Then the next braid I go, I take it from the other piece, shoot. And then as I go down, I kind of make sure the bottom doesn't get tangled like it is. And to do that, oof, you have to like drag down with your braids. So, like drag down like that. And then just when you get to the end, keep tight and a little knot. Boy, do I start using my British accent? A little knot. I have a question. What is your favorite album right now? Or song? I don't know. I was thinking about that. So I parted my hair forever. Okay. Comment down below. That's two done. I'm gonna hit you with the time lapse as I complete my head. 
I'm gonna show again when I get to the front. But for the middle, I'll just hit you with the time lapse. The center of the back, I reach my hands like directly behind my head and start it and then pull it to the side to finish the braid. So I got like 10 of them done, probably like 11. Woo! I'm so excited. Oh, my brother is standing right there. You can't see them. Hey. My brother fish. But yeah. um. They're looking cute. It's taking me a long time, but it'll be worth it, even though nobody can see them. What am I supposed to say? Say hi. Oh, hey, you on YouTube. Put your face in it. Uh, I look rusty. Rusty. Not crusty, not dusty, but rusty. Tell me to subscribe, James. Subscribe. And turn the bell on. Turn the bell on. Okay, so I have to go do something. Shut out, Lindsay. When I get back, the lighting might be a little different, but I'm gonna finish them when I get back. Your girl is back. About to get back into it. It's an all-day thing, y'all. This is an all-day thing. The grind does not stop. So let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I do each an individual one again. Enough with the time lapse. You take this one piece of hair. These two sides are pretty much equal. Well, not really, but pretty close to the size of this one right here. You take it up at the top. I kind of like to have it equal on both sides. I don't. I'm not. I haven't been doing any fanning. They're still kind of tapering somehow. I don't really know, but when I boil them, they gonna look fine. Um, so you take it, I put my hands like this, no my nails, hold it over top of this one, then use my middle finger to grab it and pull it on top. Now I'm holding this here like this, see? And I'm gonna wrap and pull and pretty much braid as normal, but really as tight as I can. Like the rubber band is being pushed up at this point because that's how tight I grabbed it. The rubber band really helps you with your grip, especially when you're like learning to braid and twist and everything. But once you kind of have the grip, you don't really need them as much. I like them because it helps keep the part clean and then just keep all the way until my piece of hair is short. I mean, it's gone, not short. Now my piece of hair is almost done. So I'm gonna put it in the middle of these two pieces and pull from one. I'm gonna pull from this one. And see, I just, please ignore my nails. I'm so sorry, I should've thrown my palette off. Just pull it. break it and I kind of just keep changing the size of it until and it's knotted at the bottom from the way I'm braiding see this is I struggle a little bit don't be concerned if you struggle a little bit it's the end that matters and now I have a good one not a good one like a good separation between all of them and that's when I just start to braid like normal. And just really keep going under and under and under and listening to my Frank Ocean and my Drake and my Tyler Creator and my Ari Linux and my everything, my Shy Clothing, my Juice World. Lex has been putting everything been my hair for a long time. So this underhand braiding is what gives you this look. Right here, see ya. This look. And keeping it the same pressure all the way down. Just consistency is key. 
Braids teach you life lessons. Hair teaches you life lessons. Everything teaches you life. Life is a lesson, honestly. Is this a chit chat? Braid my hair with me. Because I'm really talking. Now, here I am. You can't really see. At the end of where I would like to stop. So what I'm going to do, my gosh, this accent is a bad habit. What I'm gonna do is, see this? It's three pieces right here, three pieces. I'm gonna make it two pieces. I'm gonna put this piece over here, put this piece over here. And then I'm gonna make a knot or a knot as some people would say. And then make the loop, put it, the rabbit through the hole. Oops. Try your best. Just pull it out, pull it taut, and then just, now you've got it like this, ready to be boiled. Now I'll come back to you when I'm done. It's literally 10, 11. I started at one. I was gone for some hours though, so I mean, that makes a difference. But I have eight left. Um, finally on the home stretch i have these and then i'll literally be done this is the finished look the moment has finally come i shouldn't be this excited but you know look at this we are done with the braiding just time for finishing touches and as soon as i finish the song, oh my gosh, I love Drake, and I can't tell you what the name of the song is, but it's Are you stupid? Are you dumb? The song where it's like, you fancy, huh? You fancy. <laughs> nails done, hair done, everything did. Nails done, hair done, everything did. Yeah, but my nails aren't done. But my hair! Look at it, look at it, look at it. Hold up, hold up. This, Ooh. And when I boil the ends, they kind of like waved up, so now I got like a goddess braid vibe going on. I don't really know, but I'm digging it. Also, let me tell you some pros of doing your own hair if you haven't started it yet. It's not tight, like my head's not about to be hurting. But also, I can do the movie thing like right now, like we're getting side part now. Look at that. And you don't have to pay extra for tailbone length. So go order your hair on Amazon or try and figure out how to find a beauty supply store and go do them right now. I know you want to and comment and like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.